This pandemic year has dealt loss and disruptive change to people all over Utah. Our losses, whether the death of a loved one or a major financial or emotional setback, impacts our well-being. But growing research suggests our approach to trauma can lead to transformative change from adversity to advantage. Jesus walked upon the water. Allie Herbert used to sing like a princess. When the 10-year-old died of leukemia last November, her casket arrived by royal carriage. Allie's bittersweet fairy tale was just the first dark chapter for her parents. This last year has been like the hardest, like ever. Jess and Heather Herbert are in the thick of it. You don't ever want to get out of bed. A few months after Allie's death, Jess was injured on the job. And then a week after that, he was laid off. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That grief of sorrow, of feeling like, oh my gosh, like I don't know if I can go on. They have to go on with five other children at home. But trauma. And you're like, okay. Where do I go? Has become their constant companion. There's all kinds of really painful things that have happened during this last year. Millions have experienced disruption and loss during COVID. Finding meaning and joy in the midst of that pain can be difficult. But Mara Haight believes our most traumatic experiences can transform us in surprising ways. Haight is the owner and therapist for the Utah Center for Post-Traumatic Growth. What exactly is post-traumatic growth? We can actually see that we're stronger, more resilient than we were before something traumatic happened. Post-traumatic growth isn't a new concept, but it's getting more attention after this past year. To emerge stronger, Haight says you have to be willing to do the work, like connecting with friends or professionals to process what you're going through, serving those who may benefit from your experience, getting outside to pull you out of yourself enough to allow healing and accepting change. Life won't be the same, but it can still be good. Start to recognize, whoa, this thing that I never thought I could survive, I did, right? And I learned these things about myself. And often seeing people pause and say, you know what, I don't think I would go back to how things were before for me. Studies show the healing process can lead to stronger relationships, appreciation of life, and new personal and spiritual strength. I hope that we can all collectively recognize that suffering is part of the human condition, but that's not the end of the story, right? It was just the start of Josh Hansen's story. I was in such a very dark place. The dark tunnel that I was in, the light was going out fast. The Army veteran returned from the Gulf War injured with PTSD and contemplated suicide so he wouldn't be a burden to his wife and children until a fellow soldier took his life. And that was my serious wake-up call that that is not the answer. When I went to the funeral, saw how it affected the family. One, one, one. I had to put more effort into my healing process. I had to force myself to get outside and go do things. Here, I mean, you'll see a lot of smiles. He started a nonprofit, Continue Mission, to help other veterans through 150 yearly outdoor events. I designed our nonprofit around my healing process and what worked for me. So far, it's been amazing. He serves Woo! and connects outside with thousands of other veterans. It's such a new life for me, and I'm so much happier than where I was. Sweet. <laughs> He's worked for more than 10 years to get to the other end. The Herbert's journey is just beginning. They have started a disaster restoration business. We needed to do something, you know, to support our family, but we knew that we wanted to incorporate Ally into something that we did. A portion of the proceeds will help other families dealing with childhood cancer. Whether it's fuel or Christmas or, or to groceries. Help out with groceries, like yeah, there's so many things. Memories. Their company, HSL, Herbert's Silver Linings Restoration, she always looked on the bright side of things. Is providing them a pathway to heal, to make a living, and to make life a little easier for families who are also trying to find joy in a life with loss. Thus, finding a silver lining in every disaster.
So far, the Herberts have found silver linings in three disaster jobs with their new company, and they're sending those proceeds right now to two families. We certainly wish them the best.